And that will bring us to the final pair. John Force, the number one qualifier, the number one seed of this event, if you will. Number one because he is the points leader. And Tim Wilkerson, the fan vote getter. Gary Gerald. Well, let's check in here with Courtney Force. Our jaws dropped. That was really <laughs> impressive. How about yours? Yeah, definitely. I mean, anytime I, I can, uh, you know, edge out caps, you know, down in the <laughs> at the finish line, I knew it was going to be a good run because he flew by me right after, and I was like, man, that had to be a good one. But especially in this heat, man, Ron Douglas, Dan Hood, all of our guys at John Force Racing, my Traxxas team, I'm proud of them. I mean, I'm pulling up there as a driver, and I mean, I got bumped out of the field last night. I'm thinking of so many different things. You know, you want to go shallow, you want to go to ET to get, you know, qualified in the top half. Uh, but they gave me a, a pretty dang good race car, and uh, it's exciting, and uh, I love driving it. But you know what? The Traxxas Ford Mustang team is qualified. So far in Indy, and uh, we're going on to the next round for the Traxxas Nitro shootout. So thank you, Traxxas. Two steps away from a possible $100,000. Perhaps the theme of this matchup here should be three. John's 3-0, 30th ever specialty funny car start. Taking on a guy with, excuse me, he has three national event wins this year, but it's been three years since Tim Wilkerson, Levi Ray and shop crew of Warner Race. You know, Tim's a big upset guy. He doesn't care who's in the other lane. He wants to get in that countdown. Well, and he's got the better car coming into this round anyway. A 402 elapsed time. Only good enough for the number six spot after what Courtney just did. And uh, I'll tell you what, it's, it's pretty amazing that John Force has struggled this much coming into this first round because that car has been really very, very good the last few races. But the lethal weapon is Jimmy Proc, who just walked away from there. He could run a 399 right now. Yeah, at any time. Remember, though, John, technically not qualified for this race. A little added incentive, a little added pressure there. He rolled it in deep. Yeah. And he's going to get the win, 4042, the same exact number that Robert Hyde just ran. Shooting up on the right side pretty good, 407. And John Force has three cars of the four remaining. Alexis DeJoria, the fourth of the final four. You know, Mike, I'm really surprised him not being in the show, wanting to get a little bit deeper. I would think he rolled it in plenty deep, looked like to me. Well, you know, he did, he did the same thing last night in that final from Brainerd against Caps. I didn't think he would, and when I looked at it, I didn't think he rolled in that much last night, but you're right, you could tell it big time from Mark Lyle's camera. He rolled her in about two or three hundredths of a second to get that reaction time. In other words, that elapsed time probably would have been about a 401 or 402. But we'll take a look at Wilkerson on the right-hand side with that funny flame out the right side. It's definitely hurting uh, some pistons and some uh, parts and pieces in that combustion chamber on the cylinder head. 407, Timmy, look like you chewed it up well, on the, the only right female side, specialty race winners in NHRA history are Shelly Payne. That happened in Top Fuel. Erica Ender Stevens in Pro Stock, which means both Alexis DeJoria and Courtney Force can add their name to the NHRA history books. They represent two of the four semifinalists of the Traxxas Nitro Shootout. Back in Alexis Pitt, they are already hard at work turning that car around. That's Jesse James, her husband, working on the front of that car. Look at that fuel cell that blew up. It popped. Got wide, got big. Wow, look at that. Remember Del Worsham had a problem like that and the fuel tank exploded, Mike? Yeah, that, uh, a lot of times what happens is when the thing backfires, some of that back pressure goes back in the tank and blew, uh, balloons it up like that. And if you get a heat source, it's really going to be bad. Well, it's, she's awful lucky that thing didn't split the seams and really start the fire. Well, Alexis isn't the only one that has provided fireworks in the Traxxas Funny Car Shootout. Flashback to the final a year ago, where Fast Jack Beckman grabbed the 100 gram, but probably spent more. Blow it up, one of those Dodge bodies. This year's final, it's still to come. Hold on tight. We are at the Chevrolet Performance U.S. Nationals racing the Traxxas Funny Car Shootout.